transfer of ownership of Hoboken University Medical Center and the Hoboken Charter School assists a school in Africa. Jeff Hennig, Sherry Carabin, Hudson County from a local angle. This is Cablevision's Neighborhood Journal, Hudson News Edition. Good evening. Students at the Hoboken Charter School have spent part of their semester learning about the importance of community service and helping others less fortunate. This Saturday at St. Matthew Church at 12 noon, the students will participate in the school's fourth annual Water Wings Project, benefiting a school in Malawi, Africa. We have details in the following story. Girls in Africa spend six hours a day on an average carrying water. Third graders in art teacher S.K. Duff's class, known as the Ubuntu Kids, are preparing for Saturday's fundraiser, having created all types of artwork. Their work will be auctioned off to raise money to help an African school obtain clean water. Ubuntu comes from a word from Desmond Tutu, which basically means that we're not fully human until in the presence of other human beings. So it's the idea of being more responsible global citizens, and that's what our third graders are learning. So they've adopted a school for the last four years. This year the school is the Mapachika Primary School in Malawi, Africa. Malawi is a community that is incredibly poor. It's one of the poorest regions of Africa, and it's deeply affected by HIV and AIDS, as well as uh, political unrest and so on. And so because of these multiple things happening, the idea of bringing clean water and sanitation into that community will make a big, big difference and really help extend the lives of a lot of, of young people and adults as well. It really serves the community. It made me feel like a little sad that they don't have enough water and their water is dirty that they, they can't get enough water and there's a lot of kids that been dying that don't get clean water a lot the first hour is a carnival where the kids have created all kinds of like water-based booths. You can fish for water conservation facts and prizes. There are relay races where you carry like five gallon buckets to understand what it's like if you were a girl in Africa that would spend you know, several hours a day carrying water uh, that would weigh usually on an average five gallons and that kind of thing and it would take you know several hours. Girls have to carry water for several miles and um, boys get the education. And we're doing this project to help, to help them and give and let them learn some more, so they don't have to carry water. If you help a boy, you help a class. But if you help a girl, then you help a, then you help a whole community. And the second hour is the program where the kids will give uh, speeches about Africa and the community that we're helping. And in addition to that, we have a special, uh, the kids auction of their art ducks um, where the parents get incredibly competitive and we uh, make a lot of our, our fundraising then. And then the last part of the program this year, a very special part, is we have a Dancing with the Stars competition where three of our favorite beloved teachers are going to be dancing. They've been paired off with professional dancers and will be competing. There's going to be a modern dance and a jive dance and a salsa dance that will all be water-based as well. The school hopes to raise about $3,000 to pay for a portion of a pipeline which brings clean water into the school or to help pay for toilets. The Bayonne Board of Education